Hey everybody, welcome back to Volcano Block, insert episode number here, and we are going to try to actually finish the chapter along this line. We'll still have to go and do uh, the pipes and the chest builder and the wooden crate, but we're going to try to get as much of this done as possible because I need this to get quartz, and because right now I can only get quartz powder to make this stuff, so... Let's uh let's start with a solid fuel arrow heater, shall we? So I need me some of these. Some of these. And I think some of these. Arrow, Oreo, Heater, uh, there's a lot of different Aereo Heaters here, so let's go ahead and make the Solid Fuel Arrow Heater, and that's going to give us Charcoal, yay, and now let's make the Explosion Furnace, which is going to be a bunch of chiseled stone and a flint and steel. I wonder if I need a new flint and steel. If I can, I might as well make a new one. I mean, more than likely, I'm going to need one eventually again. So let's just go ahead and make a new one and let's make a stack of uh, chiseled block things. So let's do that. Shabam. And we can do. that and it'll give us an explosion arrow heat or thingy um so this is from progeny progeny tank it uses an explosion uses an explosive reaction to progress pro, uses an explosive reaction to process items so and also i'm pretty sure it's a multi-block how does one get gunpowder again crushing red flint and I should have red dye, and I should have an abundance of flint, so let's just go ahead and get a bunch of gunpowder, because it takes specifically red flint to do so. Um, how does one make red flint? That looks about right. And we can grab this guy, pop him here, and I do that because... My gravity thingy can reach all the way over here, which makes me pretty happy that I made the small ones, uh, which means I still have that one big one, but I mean, I mean, you know, <laughs> I'll use it eventually. Oh, and it gives us sand. Man, these rewards, man. Let me tell you. So I need to make this thing. So iron and clay can make ceramic ingots. But this is... Is there a Progeny Tech? At Prodigy. Is there a book for this? Handbook of Prodigy 2nd Edition. I'm pretty sure I already have that. So, let's see if we can find it. And if not, then we can make it. I think we have it. We do have it. And this should tell us how to actually make the multi-block in theory. So, explosion furnace. Uh, start getting started. Okay, make that thing. Done. Uh, explosion mechanics. When given a redstone pulse, the explosion furnace will attempt to consume all explosive and damper, dampener in its slots. If it's successful, if it successfully did, it will produce an explosion, generating explosive power, or EP. Yada, yada, yada. How do I make the multi-block? Uh, Explosive Furnace is the first machine to make use of explosion reactions. Okay, I, ju I just want to know how... It, it is a multi-block, correct? You can double or tri triple your proportions if you want. Yada, yada, yada. Clay and stuff. Okay, maybe it's not a multi-block. Maybe I was wrong. I was pretty sure it was, but... You know, what do I know? Iron... And clay. 
so we're going to plop this guy. We're going to do... I'm assuming it's going to end up being a 3x3. Three three. Okay, maybe it... Okay, I'm, I've been wrong before. So maybe it's not a... Maybe it's not a... Uh, a multi-block. So I need 16, 1, and it'll give me 16. So... 16... God, I can do this. I can do this. Okay, so 16 in that slot. And does it take gunpowder? Do I... What do I do? What do I do? Whoa, did that just go down one? Oh no, that was me. Okay. Um... Do I light it on fire? Does it need some sort of power? Mm, flint and steel. Let's try. Let's try lighting it on fire. That always. That's always the, solves the problem. Nope. Uh, okay. It looks like reading is actually going to be something we have to do. Uh, explosion mechanics, maybe. Generate. Okay. Generate. See, Depends on which one is used at the same time. Consumes dampener, dampener, certain amount of EP. If the EP generates, yada yada yada. Oh, uh, then inputs run on top and bottom. Wait, inputs are run top to bottom. If there's enough EP to produce process one, it consumes the appropriate amount of EP. I wish it would just be like, hey, stick this in here, and this does that. That would be a lot easier than trying to figure out what exactly it wants me to do. Uh, to simply make ceramic ingots, put five gunpowder in the explosive slot, four sand in... Ah, there we go. There we go. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five. And explode. Explode. Why isn't it exploding? Uh, the reagent slot, shift click, or on a, oh, it needs a redstone signal. Okay. Uh, let's make a level work, which is going to be, for all you people that don't know, a stick and cobblestone. I know, high tech stuff right here. And we should be able to, hopefully, Holy crap. That was aggressive. Um, but I gave a 16 for ceramic ingots. Let's do another 16. 4 and... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that was a lot less... That was a lot less uh, intense. And that'll give us the ceramic ingots and the ability to make the next item, which is a solderer. Uh, I don't know what this takes as far as arrow heat. So, uh, return to your... No, no, no more book. Not if I can help it. Uh, carbon plates. Oh, please tell me I make carbon dust in, in preemptive to this. That I did not. I have charcoal in my inventory, so we can get that started while we set up the uh, arrow heater thingy. So, grab this and this, and put in the charcoal. Uh, so we're going to need nine of these to make a carbon plate. So, until that does that, let's, uh... Oh, I made a better pickaxe, by the way. So let's do this. Uh... And do that and solar fuel arrow heater which I think can get power from both the lava maybe it doesn't get power from lava I thought it got power from both lava and charcoal but oh well what do I know right uh, I wonder if I wonder if this will work let's go try something real quick uh, with the vanilla food pantry mod, 
you can get a bucket of lava. Uh, I, I mined obsidian, if, by the way. I can get a bucket of lava, and you can turn it into bits of heat. And if this works, that'll be a cool little test thing, because this is pretty much indefinite and free. Indefinite and free are good things. Okay, that works. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll just let that do its thing. I don't really care. Come on. Come on. Three more. Three more. Uh, let's see. What else do we need? Uh, it's going to want us to make mutation paste next, which is going to be uh, shards. Shards of the Pure Giver, Rock Cores, and this Fertile Soil. So we're going to have to go get our Fertile Soil. And should I wait? I know this is going to be a pain, so let, let's just uh, let's just go in order. we got nine of those. We can make our plate. We can do the, uh, can do the, the Solderer. Which, used, considering it needs ceramic ingots, it might be the next thing, next tier up. So that's why we need the arrow key for. So if I was a solderer, where would I be? That looks like a solderer. Uh, so I need one of those there fancy little uh, nether gems that are way complicated to get. Uh, you gotta throw them through another portal. Like, couldn't grasp that concept. Just kidding. But that gives us the it gives us the precision thingy, and it gives me an iron helmet and a Voltopic Inventory Explorer workbot, which I think is actually pretty cool. I think it allows me to like search inventories around me. So like, if I'm like, okay, I want stone. Yeah, that's cool. And then you can pull them directly out of the chest too. That's pretty sick, but we're not gonna. We got my helmet. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Uh, let's go and grab our fertile thingy because I don't think we can actually make uh, the. I don't think we can actually make the uh, the things until we got cacti, and that's gonna be a bit of a thing. So let's just throw. How exactly did that work? Uh, mutation paste. So, just a core with the living thingy. Alright, so let's do that. Let's grab a couple of these. Two, three, four. I think four will do it for now. I'll have to set up a place to actually automate cacti. Eventually. So, I should have rock cores somewhere. Do four of those. And now I think you just do one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Uh, please, please turn them all at once. Yeah, I told you this was going to be a pain, didn't I? I love this mechanic, I really do, but I, I, I knew this was going to be, like, a pain. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh my god. You know what we need? We need stabilizing cores. And we need them like now. I think that's gonna be like an off camera thing. I'm gonna make like a gajillion of like the really good ones. And I might actually look into how to do the graphs too. Because, oh man. Yay. That took way longer than I wanted it to. Alright, then gives us mutation paste, which will give us the ability to get iron boots and cacti. So cacti is going to be 
a sampling and two mutation paste. So let's uh let's put this back. And let's grab some saplings. And this will give us the ability to do birch wood too, so I don't have to worry about cleaning that up like almost every episode. So let's go ahead and do this turns into a bunch of these. I don't think there's a yeah, the rock core is the only thing. Like, maybe we'll save one for to do more rock cores later instead of having to keep breaking that special grass stuff. And that'll give us two cacti. And how about a piece of sand? I think I'm also going to make a couple more of those there. Uh, uh, pot things over there that, that's breaking those for stuff like... Uh, more automation I think would be a good idea but for right now we're just gonna place this that looks like a really good spot and do I have can I bone meal cactus I don't remember if that's a thing is there snad in this pack maybe Let's see snad snad nope snad if you give it a red tones redstone signal it does some sort of funky uh uh, tick skipping or something. Uh, so now I want to make a refined circuit board, which requires all this junk that I don't have. So let's uh, let's hope this thing grows super fast. So we get more. So we get more cactus. But for right now, let's see what we can do to get through this. So I need refined circuit boards, which is crude circuit board patterns, which is iron and paper which is all right for now but I don't really have um, sugarcane automated so it's something to keep in mind so oh, they, they don't stack either oh, that's a pain uh, so how do we make uh, these things once I have that exactly uh, it's just one of them that's really stupid why wouldn't they just craft right into it like wouldn't that make more sense unless it's a component for something else And now we gotta make these things, which is cactus green, paper, and clay. So let's get one, two, three. Uh, cactus green, paper, and clay. All right, give me that, and we can do uh, cactus green, paper, and clay to give us that, which gives us three of those. Now we need to get the bits of gold. Uh, we need to get rid of like anything close that got rid of nothing that did nothing uh, you know what we need we need a backpack that's what we need Okay, let's uh, let's get this circuit board started. Um, I'm gonna need a bit measurer, I think, to get bits of gold. So let's do circuit and tiny piles of gold is going to be okay. I can just put gold nuggets in the thingy. So let's go ahead and do that. It'll save us. Well, actually, it's probably gonna take more time. But I don't think I can actually use the bit measure for that. That's a vanilla food pantry thing. So we hop into here, put those guys in there. And what do we need left? Iron things. So let's get uh, this many. And let's grab this guy. We put this on top. And we do gold. Well, that just kind of ate it, didn't it? 
and iron. And that should, yeah, it's going to slowly, slowly do the circuit board things, which is fantastic. And we'll just put the rest of the gold nuggets in here because, you know, who cares, right? We got to be kind of speedy about this. Wait, did I only need one of these? Well, that's kind of cool, but at the same time, now I have all those, I have the extra ones. I guess it's kind of like refined storage. Uh, all right, no big deal. We got the circuit board, which gives us our full set of iron armor. Now to make the magmatic thingy, we just need... Wait, what is this? Magmatic reassembler. That sounds exciting. Uh, we need the ceramic ingots, redstone, gold, and a circuit board, which we just so happen to have. Why ain't you growing? All right, let's do... Uh, do I have redstone in here? One. All right. Redstone. Gold. I should already have the ceramics. 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 Ceramic ingots. And what was it? A reassembler or something? Reassembler. Magmatic reassembler. Give us that, which this probably also takes the funky thing. Which is alright, because I don't think we're going to be using... Actually, let's, let's see what we're... What's the next thing? Ooh, more mutation paste. Uh, an incinerator. So, it can use the pink composite or the ceramic. So, I, guess, I bet you can't guess what we're going to use. That's right, the pink composite. Why? Because I have a bunch of it, and I don't know if there's much use for it past this point. So, uh, dirt... What was it called? Uh, doesn't matter. We can just click in here. The incinerator and flint. I need a piece of flint. And we can make the incinerator. Incinerator. And we're already at the 22 minute mark. Which is kind of bad because I wanted to hopefully like get all the way out to the end here. But I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, Inferno Crystals. Okay, so... It's gonna take Inferno Fuel. And it takes Blaze Powder, so I have to get a bunch of Blaze and stuff. So that'll be something we do off camera. So, uh, we got halfways there. Hopefully we'll be able to finish this chapter and do uh, these three um, as well next episode. Uh, I'll probably get the Inferno Crystals, because as you can see... It just uses the incinerator on top of the uh, heater with carbon dust, which we already got. Ash, which which I think we already got. Not ash shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, I just typed in ash. Is there only, there's only this type of ash? How did I get, how do I get this? Potassium carbonate? Well, that's not right. Ash is not primarily made of potassium carbonate. It has carbon and potassium hydroxide. That, that's a lie. Oh, here's another ash. Which is made through the Kamenite stuff, embers. So, yeah, I, well, I guess I, there's got to be a way to get ash. It's like... You need ash to craft this. Can be created by putting anything in the incinerator. Oh, look at that. So, yeah, um, I could go and make some real quick, but you guys already get it. So, I'm going to end the episode off here. And I'm going to do a bunch of grinding off camera to get all the different stuff built up again so we can just smoothly get right on through this. Um, a lot of the stuff that's going to be taking time is the machine processing. So, hopefully we can knock these out while we're processing some of the, like energy on stuff, and getting to the primordial reactor. I'm assuming this is going to take, yeah, yeah, assumed correctly. Alright guys, um, be grinding out a bunch of cactus. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.